Hey Gavko, how are you doing? This is uh, my entry for your uh, giveaway contest. I think, um, as always, you bring up uh, really interesting topics that uh, kind of makes you think and wonder about the subject. And this time I think it's a very important subject. Uh, it's really nice to see that you guys in the state have uh, an organization that take care takes care of uh, of uh, your rights to bear uh, and to carry a knife. However, where I live, <clears throat> this uh, we don't have an organization like this, and we are really just uh, a few good crazy men that likes to go out and bushcraft and practice survival, knife making, whatever. Um, to me, the knife has always been a tool. I rarely look at it as a weapon, especially when you know that you can make a lot of other tools using your blade. Um, this is just a small neck knife that I made myself. I'm just putting it in frame so it wouldn't be a very boring video. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's far from being tactical in any way. But here in Israel, um, unfortunately, some people are using knives as a weapon and as a um, mean of hurting other people. The funny thing is that these people are not very educated. And you know what? If if they would have gone and buy a decent tactical knife, I would say, hey, you know what? Whatever. But they're mostly using these type of blades for cutting and causing damage or even some silly blade like this that I'm not sure you even want to put in your kitchen and uh, eventually what happens is that the people that do cherish their blades as a tool as an everyday tool uh, are being hurt and it's absolutely important for organization like uh, knife rights to try and make or put a little bit of sense into the system saying hey you know what we cutlery lovers we're not criminals we're far from it uh, usually we're we're on the opposite side uh, but we are using our knives and our cutlery as mean of um, preparing food hunting in a legal way uh, processing meat or uh, or furs skins uh, we practice bushcraft we carve uh, we create nice things we use our our blades to help people and not to uh, and not to hurt people and um, I think this is uh, this is the, the important thing that uh, knife rights are doing and yeah absolutely you know um, if knives will become hard to buy or possess, the uh, the prices will go up, and that is a shame because I think it's a fantastic industry, and um, we will eventually just be heard of it. Uh, you know, I can't imagine myself not being able to carry a knife. I mean, what am I going to carve within the woods? A hammer? What 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 would what would be the next tool to to get out of the system or to be outlawed? A chisel, you know, it's a knife. The 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 the, the prehistoric man made his first tool, which was probably a club or a piece of stick. His second tool was maybe a day or two later was a piece of stone that was able to to cut. Uh, through all sorts of materials and he said hey you know what this is a great tool I'm gonna use it I'm gonna make it better so you know it's a knife it's a tool uh, so I hope you like this video and good luck all in the contest and I hope uh, knives will get their respect that they deserve to all over the world bye bye and take care